Welcome to News Show TV and today with Dr. Paolo. Dr. Paolo from the International Journal of Healthcare Management. It's a long word. Right. Or what, uh, so welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. What is this journal doing? For me, it's a journal, it's a magazine, but there's a lot behind. Let, let us experience a little bit your world you're in and what you're doing. Yes, yeah, so the International Journal of Healthcare Management is a scientific journal. Okay. Uh, so it's indexed in the yeah. major scientific databases. And essentially we publish research articles in healthcare management from all over the world. So in, as our partners, we have over 400 experts in healthcare management topics from all over the world. Um, and this is a, a major network to mm -hmm. establish contacts with health managers all over the world. Okay, but if the management tells me you're doing something, you're not just publishing things, you're, you're physically helping or establishing uh, chances and possibility for hospitals and, 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 and doctors. What, yes. what, what's, behind, what's behind that? Yes, well, many of our articles are case studies. Mm -hmm. So people learn through case studies yeah. all over the world. So when you read a case study about some hospital in other part of the world that had the same problem as you, mm -hmm. it's very good that you can read how they sort it out, yeah. how, how they try to sort the same problem right. that I have. And sometimes these are countries that are on, on opposite sides of the planet, mm -hmm. but they have the same management problem. Yeah. So this is one way of generating and sharing knowledge in healthcare management, okay. which is um, what the magazine or the journal yeah. does, really. Yeah. So you have a specific country in your mind in the moment? I, I heard you worked on a large country or you're working actively in a large country. You did already and you're expanding? Yeah, we, we are developing projects in China. Okay. Uh, I mean, um, for obvious reasons, China is a, a country that you can't ignore right. in the future and in the present. And so we, what we're doing with, with Chinese hospitals is mainly um, we are working with doctors mm -hmm. to publish uh, scientific articles. Mm -hmm. um, we're also um, helping Chinese hospitals getting uh, regular updates on new technologies, okay. uh, which is something that we do. So we do, every time a new technology comes out in Europe, we do a short summary and mm -hmm. we share it with the Chinese hospitals. We started doing that in uh, uh, a couple of months ago okay. and we want to further develop that. So okay. that's something maybe we can do with your channel. Oh, oh uh, yeah, please. Yeah, well, <laughs> everybody's welcome has news and something interesting we can mm. share with the world. Mm. Uh, that absolutely, so it's absolute <laughs> up to us. So we're coming back on, on that issue uh, again, no problem. <laughs> yes. So we, we also organize training groups to okay. doctors, to Chinese doctors yeah. in Europe. Okay. Uh, we also establish some uh, cooperation in which um, European doctors go to China okay. for short periods of time. You organizing this? Yes, we okay. are. Okay, so that. that's what I mean. It's much more than a journal and just the management or giving the advice or the information from the market. You yes. physically take the people, give them an opportunity to go to different countries, exchange and network. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. So yeah, so the journal is uh, basically a scientific database. Yeah. Um, and a scientific and technical um, network of mm -hmm. experts. Mm -hmm. So we use that sure. to Good. establish some dynamics of cooperation. Yeah. And currently we are doing that with China. So we, besides training doctors in, Chinese doctors in Europe, we can also take European doctors to China. Mm -hmm. We also organize group visits to Europe. So usually managers and hospital mm -hmm. directors come mm -hmm. from China to spend some time in European hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, we also organize visits of European managers, healthcare managers, okay. to China. And finally, we're also establishing cooperation to promote um, in innovation that is developed in China okay. uh, to be developed and disseminated in Europe. Okay, that's a so large it's, field, or it's a really big field. 
Yes, yes. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's summarizing it, yeah, but absolutely, it, yeah. it implies about four or five complementary activities, yes, 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 yeah. which are very much based on the the network created by the journal. Right. So, and you going to China? You told me you going. Yes, I, I go often to China. Yeah, okay. To China. So, in, yeah. in the past years, I've been going to China, yeah. like four or five times. Yeah. It, okay. it, it might increase in the future. Yeah. 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 But uh, there's a lot, a lot going on yeah. in China yeah. when it comes to healthcare management yeah. and the development of the health system in China. Yeah. Is happening at a very fast pace. Yeah. A very interesting project. Is there, um, let's say, a, la a big gap between here, the European world, and and China? Uh, so a lot to do, or is there already? Is this closing? Come they very close uh, to what we're providing in Europe? Mm, unlike what Europeans think, mm -hmm. it, China is very developed. Mm. So we don't go to China to teach them a lot mm, because okay. they already know a lot. Yeah. I think it's more important for us to learn that we can learn a lot from China. Okay. And with this attitude, I think, um, you know, cooperation starts working better. Yeah. In, um, on the other hand, there's also something very important and interesting happening now in China, which is Chinese hospitals are combining traditional Chinese medicine mm -hmm. with Western medicine. Mm -hmm. And I think in Europe we should do to learn. Yeah. We should learn to yeah. do that too. So we can learn from both sides. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that, you that's are, the point. and more than less, also an ambassador. Well, well that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I between guess so. the worlds and the, and the different ways to do medicine. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, so sh sharing experiences yeah. and learning from each yeah. other. So that's, that's the key idea. Yeah. So I think uh, this is a very very interesting thing, and and we should follow up with our channel. I think we could really create a channel with all your information you have, your experience, and share this with the world. Uh, so we should talk about this later on yeah, okay, and course, yes. uh, see what we can create. Yeah. For now, thank you very much for watching, Paolo. Thank you very much for coming and giving us an explanation of what you're doing and what's there and what's planned for the future. A safe trip when you're going thank over you. there. See you soon. And we do, I hope, a lot of things in the future together. Paul, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much thank for you. coming. Thanks thank you a lot. very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.